When uh, Katrina and Mike Rosen's marriage hit rock bottom, they decided to go for a bike ride around the world. Together, the Canmore couple uh, repaired 54 flat tires, survived heat exhaustion, two robberies, and ultimately saved their marriage along the way. Katrina wrote about their journey in a new book called With You by Bike. Katrina and Mike Rosen join me on stage now to talk about it. Good afternoon. Hi, thank you. All right, Katrina, most couples uh, go through marriage counseling. What made you decide to bike around the world to try and save your relationship? Well, something needed to be done. We had hit a point in our relationship, um, and there was, no, there was no going back. And we had to make a, a very fast decision, and we had always traveled quite well together. And in a six-week period, we decided to uh, leave our home, rent out our houses, leave our jobs, and start traveling. And Mike, I understand uh, you didn't even own a bike at the time, so what you what made you agree to, to do something like this? Or anything, uh, anything was worth wanting, worth what fighting for. So I, you know, I want to, I want to make this work. I, you know, go without an option. And how would you describe the state of your marriage at the time? Deteriorating, I would say. Uh, absolutely, our communication wasn't there, and just we kind of. Fall, I don't know, fallen out of love, but we were just one in love with each other. And guess we know, so what was going on there? It was, um, we weren't uh, close anymore, and I think when you don't give each other the time that you need a relationship, you're opening up yourself uh, for other things uh, to happen, which can be quite disastrous. Uh, to our to our relationship, and, and that's where we were at. So, Mike, logistically, financially, I mean, this was 13 months. Uh, how did how did you manage that? Uh, so for us, it's not too much of a financial hit. We we camped as much as we could, and luckily, Southeast Asia is, is not expensive, so uh, we're able to maintain uh, a couple living by you know just being economical in our positions. And Katrina, I mean, so this was a year-long adventure. At what point did you think that there was hope to save your marriage? We were about six weeks into the trip, and we had um, started in Canada, basically from our front door. We didn't know if uh, Mike would actually make it to the weekend by traveling by bike. Um, but he did, and eventually we decided to go south in search of warm weather. And we actually ended up in, uh, in Utah and into a park named Zion uh, National Park. And that is really where I felt um, the spark again, and that we were perhaps worth fighting for. And uh, just to give us a heads up of those uh, just listening to us now, our little boy has now run up onto this stage, and he's six years old, and his name is Zion, after that part. Which is rather appropriate. So, uh, what were some of the things you learned along the way? Um, I don't know how important it is to just slow down sometimes. Slow down and, and just be together, alone. Um, and just really love falling back in love with each other and answering that one-on-one -on -one time and communicating. Katrina, what was your favorite part of the trip? What were ways you traveled the world? Well, I love moving my body. I love the cycling, but the people we met along the way in these um, places, on these uh, back roads was absolutely incredible. All throughout um, Asia, we traveled through for 13,000 kilometers through 12 countries, and everywhere we went, people invited us into their homes and fed us uh, along the way. And they just, they themselves gave us so much love and showed us the passion um, for the world. And as we did that, I think we really developed our passion uh, for each other and just learning how to thrive. And Mike, uh, I mentioned off the top, 54 flat tires, heat exhaustion. I mean, here you are trying to uh, reconnect with Katrina along the way as well. What was the what was the biggest part of the adventure for you? What, did you have any close calls? But you had two robberies. How about that? Yeah, overall, we were quite happy with the way everything went. Uh, I think once you're in that mindset and, and knowing that we didn't have anywhere to go, that you know the, the rush and the pace wasn't you know it wasn't indicative of where we needed to go. It just relax and then take it one day at a time. So Katrina, that trip was 10 years ago, and here's Zion, who's now six. How would you describe the state of your marriage these days? <laughs> I would describe it really actually quite, quite incredible. I think in every relationship, we have to be careful, especially with social media these days, how we compare ourselves to others, whether that's uh, the way we perceive other relationships to be. And we still have to be careful. The difference is now we've been through kind of hitting that bottom in our relationship that we know now when we need to pull each other back in and recreate uh, that commitment um, to each other. And um, yeah, no, I love it.
Well, thank you so much for coming by and sharing your story. And Zion, thank you so much for being so quiet during that interview. Really appreciate it. And you can take those balloons home, by the way. I think you've earned them. Yeah.